Hey, buddy! <laughs> Welcome to Team 2168 Tutorial Series for the first robotics competition. In today's video, we are going to go over the hardware and software setup for the default robot project. <laughs> this is our sample development platform. Over here, we'll show the hardware setup. We already set up the main breaker to the power distribution board. Our next step is to connect the serial to the power distribution board by plugging in this wire into the 24 volt supply. Now that you've connected your CRIO to your power distribution board, you must first install your analog card into slot 1 of the CRIO, and install your digital I.O. card into slot 4 of the CRIO. Now you're ready to pwn noobs. Next, you must connect your CRIO to the digital sidecar I.O. with the big funny looking cable. Technical term. Next, you must provide power to the digital sidecar. To do this, you must plug the digital sidecar's terminals into those of the power distribution board. To do this, you simply plug the wire into the smaller set of connectors and apply a 20 amp fuse. Being sure that the minus symbol on the power, on the digital sidecar has a wire that is going to a black connector and the plus symbol has one going to the red connector. Refer to rulebook to make sure what size fuse you must use. Our next step, we're going to connect the Richter to the power distribution board. To do this, you must connect the appropriate connectors on the power distribution board it's with the it. wires on the Victor. Also, you must apply a 40 amp fuse to the correct uh, connectors. You'll know the connector is correct because the fuse holes will have a lightning rod going to the uh, connectors that they fuse. Next, we have the motor connecting to the Victor. All I had to do was plug the red to the positive and the black to the negative. The end. Our next step is to connect the PWM cable from the digital sidecar to the Victor. The white wire should be pointing to the signal on this digital sidecar. There's a B that signifies that this black wire should be pointing inwards. To read the battery voltage, we plug in this cable into the analog input and then take these wires and plug them into the power distribution port. If everything is wired correctly, you should be able to plug this battery in, close this, and you should see the these lights come on. You should see the stereo start start blinking. You should see the digital sidecar lights come on, and you should you should see the Victor fan going on, and this light blinking. <laughs> 